All right, everyone. Good morning and welcome in. My name is Alexis Miller. I'm one of the yoga instructors here for Yoga for Caregivers. This is our weekly stretch session where we really focus on getting into our bodies, stretching ourselves out, and getting ready for the rest of our day and the rest of our week. So as we go through practice today, let's keep in mind our boundaries and notice, are you ready to extend into postures? Do you need to modify and come down to the mat? Or perhaps just find a center posture. Also keep in mind, I don't often cue water. So if and when you feel thirsty, of course, please feel free to step off your mat, grab that drink, and then join us, excuse me, whenever you feel ready. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and come into a comfortable seat, whether the legs are crossed or straight out in front of you. We're going to wiggle back and forth, rooting into our sits bones, and then sit up nice and tall here. We're going to inhale as we bring the shoulders forward and up, and then exhale as we drop them back and down. Inhale as you bring the shoulders forward and up, exhale as you drop them back and down. Bringing your hands into a comfortable position, whether on your knees, palms up or down, or in your lap. Gently closing the eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Or you can just find an unmoving point and soften the gaze here. This year, inspiration for our classes is drawn from the Native American medicine wheel based on Sun Bear's vision. The medicine wheel teaches us about movement and change and offers us insight that will help us learn and grow. The beaver is an interesting symbol for this time of year. Though it represents industry and hard work, it also represents security, comfort and routine, and being home oriented. Though this is a time for hard work, it's also a time to lean into the comfort and security of routines and your community. They are the foundation that allows you to be resilient when change arises on your journey. As you move through practice, see if you can allow yourself to be comforted by the idea that your community is there to support you through whatever change you face. So settling in, taking a deep inhale through the nose, filling the belly, lungs, and chest with air before slowly exhaling that breath back out. Take another deep inhale, fill the belly, lungs, and chest with air. And then slowly exhale that breath back out. Take another deep inhale, feel your belly swelling outward, filling full of air. And then exhale the breath out, squeezing the belly button toward the spine, releasing all of that air. Inhale as you feel your torso expand and your collarbones gently lift. And then exhale as you feel your shoulders release down and away from your ears. Inhaling air in your nose, down your throat, filling your lungs. And then exhale as you feel that air move out the lungs, up the throat, and out your nose. Continue to breathe deeply, inhaling and exhaling with intention, really noticing the movement of breath here. Now, if your mind gets distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations. Simply notice the moment you've gone away and then return to the inhales and exhales. Focus on being here in community with the two of us and if you're practicing with someone else, in this practice with others. If it's helpful, you can incorporate a mantra here to help your mind stay grounded and focused on the breath and in this present moment. Inhale, I am. Exhale, resilient. Inhale, I am. Exhale, resilient. Remaining here with your breath for just a few more moments in whatever way best supports you.
Take another deep inhale here, setting an intention or a purpose for your practice today, which really can be anything at all, but often answers the question, why am I practicing yoga? Take another deep inhale here, feel that intention with your heart and mind. And then exhale that breath out, set the intention off to the side, knowing we'll return to it toward the end of our practice. Lovely. We're going to come straight onto our hands and knees here today. So moving any props out of the way, making sure your space is clear, bringing your hands beneath your shoulders, your knees beneath your hips, and then bring the tops of the feet onto the floor. We're going to start by pressing down, shifting our weight into our left hand, and then inhale, sweep tall with the right arm, coming into a tabletop twist. Keep that left elbow slightly bent here as you take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, let's thread the needle, lower the right shoulder to the floor, and the side of the head comes to the mat. So we're doing a couple things here. We're getting a nice pull to the outside of that right shoulder. We're also getting a twist through the spine. Your weight should be in your shoulder and your knees, not all in your head. We want to make sure we're not hurting our neck here. You can leave your left hand where it is. Or if you'd like, you can sweep it around behind you and tuck it toward the inside of your thigh. Notice what feels right for you. Let's take a couple deep breaths here together. On the next inhale, release that left hand to the floor. Press into that left hand. Inhale, sweep that right arm tall, reach toward the sky. And then exhale. Let's do a couple arm circles. Sweep that right arm toward the back of the mat as you exhale it down. And then inhale as you bring it forward and up. Exhale, sweep it back and down. Inhale as you sweep forward and up. Exhale, sweep back and down. Inhale, forward and up. And then exhale it back and down and bring it to rest underneath the uh, uh, shoulder here. Nice work. Coming on to that opposite side, press into that right hand and then inhale. Sweep tall with that left arm, tabletop twist. So again, keeping that right elbow slightly soft as you take a deep inhale here. And then exhale, thread the needle, lower the left shoulder to the floor and the side of your head comes to the mat. So again, pull through the outside of that left shoulder here. That's what we're feeling. And then we're getting a nice twist through our spine. Notice here, weight is in the knees and in the arm, not in the neck and the head here. We don't want to uh, overstrain that space. Your right hand can stay where it is on the mat, or you can sweep it around behind you, rest it along the low back, or even tuck it to the inside of the left thigh. Notice what feels right for you. Let's take a couple deep breaths here together. Inhale, we release that left, or right arm back to the mat. Exhale, press into that hand as you sweep tall with that left arm toward the sky here. Good. Now on the next exhale, we're going to bring that arm back and down to the floor. Inhale, bring it forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, forward and up. And then exhale back and down and bring that hand to rest beneath the shoulder here. Nice work. All right, on the next inhale, let's go ahead and look over our right shoulder and then scrunch the right shoulder and the right hip toward one another coming into wag the tail. Shrug your left shoulder up toward the ear so you feel that pull all the way into the shoulder blade here. Inhale, come on to the opposite side or into center, and then exhale, come over to the left side. So scrunching that hip and shoulder together, shrugging the right shoulder up toward the ear. Good. Inhale, back into center. Exhale, scrunching onto the right side here, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, back into center. Exhale, scrunching over to the left, feeling that pull through the ribs here. 
inhale back into center one more time each side exhale to the right here staying strong through the knees inhale into center last time exhale to the left Lovely, and then inhale, we return to center. Now on the next inhale, let's go ahead and tuck the toes. On the exhale, lift the hips, come right into a down dog. Now this may be the first down dog of the day or week, so let's go ahead and walk out that dog, bending one knee and then the other, opening the backs of your legs here. Take a nice deep inhale as you do, and a nice deep exhale, good. One more nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, come into stillness. So find that good alignment in down dog. Arms are nice and long. All 10 pads of your fingers, gently grip the mat. Head is between the arms. Chin is tucked, so you're looking toward your toes. Shrug your shoulders down onto your back. Press your chest toward the thighs. Feel the heels reach toward the floor, even if they do not touch. Take a nice deep inhale here. Notice how solid this position feels. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look up between the hands, and let's baby step our feet to the top of our mat. Come right into a halfway lift. So our knees are slightly bent, torso is parallel with the floor, back is flat, shoulders are down. Hands can be on thighs or shins, and then your gaze is toward the floor. Let's take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, let's sink into our forward fold. Tuck the chin, look between the legs. Now your arms can hang limp, you can palm the mat. Or you can bring your pinky side or crooks of the elbows and gently sway from side to side. It's up to you. Really allow the crown of the head to reach down toward the floor. Feel that pull through the hamstrings and make sure you're breathing deeply. We are in an inversion. We don't want you passing out from a blood rush to the head. Taking a nice deep inhale here. Notice that lengthening of the spine. <sighs> One more nice deep inhale. And then exhale, release those hands down toward the floor. On the following inhale, bending your knees and flattening your back. And then reverse swan dive as you inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale right into your heart center here. Nice work. So make sure your knees are slightly bent, hips are beneath your, or uh, feet are beneath your hips here, hips are on top of your feet here, so we're nice and aligned. We're going to inhale, reach our arms up overhead, exhale, leaning over to the left, standing side bend. Good, inhale, return to center, exhale to the right, standing side bend. Inhale, come into center, exhale, we're going to swan dive down into our forward fold. Inhale, come right into a halfway lift, a nice flat back here. And then exhale, fold as we bend the uh, knees, plant the hands, step back into plank. Hands are beneath shoulders, balls of the feet are beneath the heels. You're one long line from shoulders to heels, core is engaged. If you need to modify, you drop those knees, keep them at an angle so your core is engaged. Good, let's take another deep inhale here. And then exhale, bend at the elbows, lower all the way down to the mat and untuck your toes, making sure your space is clear. We're going to inhale, bring our elbows beneath our shoulders, plant the forearms, lift the gaze and the torso coming into sphinx. So the shoulders are shrugged down away from the ears. We're pulling those elbows in toward the spine. Gaze and chest is forward and proud. Release the glutes. We're not clenching here. And then tops of the feet are on the floor. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, let's come back down to the mat. Bring the hands beneath the shoulders, using your knees or pressing straight up. Inhale, come into your plank. And then exhale into down dog. Inhale, we look up between the hands. Baby step those feet to the top of the mat. Right into a halfway lift. Nice flat back. And then exhale, we fold. Inhale, bend the knees flat in the back. Reverse swan dive. The arms come wide and up. And then exhale, we come back into heart center. Nice job inhale the arms go up exhale lean over to the left root into your right heel inhale into center exhale to the right root into your left heel inhale into center exhale swan dive down into that forward fold inhale into a halfway lift and then exhale fold bend the knees plant the hands step back into plank 
So again, find that good alignment. Let's take a deep breath here. Good. On the next inhale, we drop those knees, step that right foot to the outside of the hand, sink the hips down into a supported low lunge. So knee is in line with ankle. As we sink the hips down, we feel that stretch in the right hip and also in the left hip flexor. If you want to find some movement here, you're welcome to. However, you do not have to. Let's take a couple deep breaths. All right, when you're ready, inhale, plant into that left hand, exhale, sweep tall with that right arm coming into your revolve low lunge here. It's a little bit of kind of like a lizard posture as well. Take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, we drop that right hand back down to the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift the back leg, step back into your plank, take a deep inhale here. And then exhale, bend at the elbows, come all the way down to the mat, untuck the toes. Couple options, you can inhale into Sphinx or inhale into Baby Cobra. Baby Cobra, you lift the torso, hands do minimal work, just plant it, plant, planting gently into the mat. Elbows are bent and tucked into the sides, gaze is forward, but down toward the floor so you're not craning the neck here. Deep inhale. Exhale, we return down to the floor. Inhale, come into your plank. And then exhale into down dog. Inhale, look up between the hands. Baby, step those feet to the top of the mat. Right into our halfway lift, a nice flat back here. And then exhale right into a forward fold. Inhale as you bend your knees and flatten your back. Reverse swan dive. Arms come wide and up. And then exhale into heart center. <sighs> nice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, leaning over to the left. Really reach through those fingertips. Inhale into center. Exhale to the right, reaching into those fingertips. Inhale into center. And then exhale, we swan dive down into our forward fold. Inhale right into a halfway lift. And then exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, step into your plank once again. Core is engaged. Take a nice deep breath here. On the next inhale, we drop the knees, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, sink into that modified low lunge here. So as we sink the hips down, we're feeling a stretch in that left hip this time, as well as in that right hip flexor. Good. Again, you can find some movement here, but it's absolutely an option. Let's take a couple deep breaths here together. And then inhale, plant into your right hand, sweep tall with that left arm, coming into that revolve low lunge, a little bit of a lizard posture here as well. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, we drop that left hand down to the mat. On the next inhale, tuck the toes, lift that back leg, step right back into your plank. We take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, bend at the elbows, come all the way down to the mat and untuck the toes. Okay, so again, inhale, sphinx, baby cobra, or this time, if you'd like, big cobra. Press into the hands, lift the torso tall. So the shoulders are shrugged down away from the ears. Your elbows are slightly bent, tucked into the sides. Gaze is forward and proud, releasing any clenching in the glutes. Tops of your feet are on the floor. Let's take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, we lower back down to the mat. Inhale into your plank. And then exhale into your down dog. Inhale, look up between the hands. Baby, step those feet to the top of the mat. Right into a halfway lift. Nice flat back. And then exhale, we fold. Inhale, bend your knees, flatten your back. Reverse swan dive. Your arms sweep wide and up. And then exhale, come into our heart center. Last one, your guys are doing great. Inhale, arms go tall. Exhale, lean over to the left. Inhale, into center. Exhale, leaning to the right. 
inhale into center and then exhale swan dive down into that forward fold inhale into a flat back here halfway lift and then exhale fold bend the knees plant the hands step back into plank good hold plank here for a breath nice deep inhale nice deep exhale nice deep inhale Exhale, bend at the elbows, lower all the way down to the mat, untuck the toes. Options, uh, Sphinx, Baby Cobra, Big Cobra, or if you'd like, go for Up Dog here. For Up Dog, press into the hands, lift the torso tall, and then press into the tops of the feet and lift the thighs up off the mat. Shoulders are down, gaze is forward, elbows are slightly bent. Take a nice deep breath here. And then exhale, let's lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, instead of coming into plank or down dog, coming right back into a child's pose here. So shift your hips back onto your heels, extend your arms, lower the forehead down toward the floor. If your forehead does not reach the floor, you can always stack your forearms or your fists. You can also get a prop like a block or a pillow and rest your head down there. So just taking a couple moments here, we just did some nice movement, coordinated it with some deep breathing. We stretched out the body here. And now we're taking a moment just to check in and notice what's present. Is there a particular sensation that's calling your attention? And if so, where in your body does it reside? Simply noticing what your experience is like here today no need to change or judge it. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, we're going to go ahead and come up onto our hands and knees. Make our way into a seated position here. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together, allow our knees to fall open wide and come onto the sits bones here. So your feet may be closer or further away uh, than your neighbor or than me. Um, and that's just based on your anatomy and whatever feels good for you here today. OK, so this is pretty simple. So rooting into the sits bones, we sit up nice and tall on the inhales. We lengthen through the spine and then on the exhale, we hinge at the hips as we lean forward, coming into our uh, bound angle pose. So as we lean forward here, notice where do your hands want to be on the legs, on the feet, down on the mat? Doesn't really matter. It's whatever you prefer. I put my hands around my toes because they always get a little bit cold toward the end of a practice. Now, we're not pulling ourselves down, but instead we're allowing gravity to sink us deeper and deeper into the posture. Now, with each exhale, you may find you can sink a little bit deeper, or maybe you don't find that at all. And that's okay, too. Really, just being here with the experience as we stretch both of our hips at the same time, as well as get a pull into that low back. I'm looking up at you now, so see if you can tuck your chin and then lengthen through the spine. Feel as if you have a beam of energy coming out of the crown of the head here. Nice, long spine. Let's take a couple deep breaths here together. All right, on the next inhale, let's go ahead and walk ourselves back up into center here. We're gonna make our way onto our back. So if you need a towel off, grab a drink of water, put on socks or jacket for fun or relaxation. Now is your moment. We won't sit up for the rest of our practice here today, okay? So come on down onto your back when you feel ready, making sure your space is clear of anything that could get in your way. Tuck your knees into your chest for a moment. Give yourself a little hug here. Maybe rock from side to side, get a little, little roly-poly action here if that feels good for you. Good. 
And then come into stillness, drop the soles, the feet down to the floor and begin to make your way into finer relaxation. So as always, soles of the feet can rest here, knees can stay up in the air. You can come into recline bound angle. So that's just the opposite of what we are doing here. It's a very gentle opener. It's gonna get more into those uh, hip flexors as well. You could extend one leg and keep the other in for fallen tree or extend both legs. Hands can find a comfortable position, which really can be anything at all. I invite you to play with it. Notice what does my body call for today? which may be different than what it's called for in the past. You can also lay on your side or on your belly. And if you're having allergies like I am right now, you can come into a seated position here so there's less pressure on your nasal cavity, nasal passage up here. Really notice what position that your body wants to be in here today. There is no wrong answer. And as you settle in, begin to notice the breath excuse me notice how fast or slow it has become how deep or shallow it is notice the quality of each breath on your inhales and the quality of each breath on your exhales Just feel into the gentle rise and fall of your belly. Feel into the gentle rise and fall of your chest. Simply noticing that air as it moves through your body and allowing your attention to rest there very gently on it. Now, if your mind it gets distracted and starts thinking about what's happening outside of this space, outside of this moment, see if you can reel the mind back in and focus on the breathing. Focus on being right present in this moment. Now, if it's helpful, of course, you can come back to your mantra. Inhale, I am. Exhale, resilient. Inhale, I am. Exhale, resilient. Remaining here with your breath in whatever way best supports you for just a few more moments here today. I'm going to get quiet for this final part of practice so you can have it to yourself. Please know that I'm watching the time and I most certainly respect yours. And I will let you out of this posture before the end of practice. So lean back, let go, just rest right here. Our practice is to stop running and to be aware that all of the wonder, all the wonders of life are available in the here and now. Bringing your awareness back to this space, taking a deep inhale through your nose, filling your belly, lungs, and chest with air before slowly exhaling your breath back out. Take another deep inhale here as you begin to move your fingers and toes, arms and legs, gently waking your body up. 
When it feels right for you, roll onto one side and pause there with an arm or a hand beneath your head. It's here that I invite you to bring back to mind your intention or your purpose that you set at the beginning of your practice that answered the question, why am I practicing yoga? Take a deep inhale here, make your way on up into a seated position as we close out our practice together today. So find your comfortable seat, root into your sits bones, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, bring your shoulders forward and up. Exhale, drop them back and down. Nice. Bring your hands into a comfortable position, knees, lap, or heart center. Close the eyes if you'd like. We take a moment to express gratitude for yet another lovely day here on earth and for our bodies that allow us to do so many things, including yoga. Thank you all so much for allowing me to guide you through this practice today. It was a joy and an honor, and I hope to be able to do so again in the future. The light in me, it sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here for your weekly stretch session with Yoga for Caregivers. Again, my name is Alexis Miller. I am here every Wednesday at 9 a.m. So mark your calendars, set your alarms. <laughs> um, you can find Yoga for Caregivers on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So make sure to connect with us there to keep up with everything that we've got going on and all of the offerings that volunteers like me have put out there for you. So thank you so very, very much for being here with me today. I hope to see you uh, in another session soon. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Until next time. Bye.